how to multiply using the grid method. So first of all, we need to start drawing the grid. So we're going to partition each of these numbers. So starting with the 343, I'm going to split that into 300, 40, and 3, like so. And then down this side, we're going to split the 39 into 30 and 9. So now what we're going to do is multiply each pair that correlate to the square. So whichever square you're in, it's the number above and the number to the left that you need to multiply together. Now, one of the things you can do with this is put all the zeros in first. And putting the zeros in is quite simple in the sense that this times this is going to end up with those three zeros all on the end. So we can put those in to start with, like so. Now, 30 times 40 here, it's going to end up with two zeros. And 30 times 3 is going to have one zero on the end. And then 9 times 300 is going to have two zeros. And 9 times 40 is just going to have 1. And there's no zeros to go in here. <coughs> Excuse me. OK. So now we can go back and kind of ignore the zeros and just multiply the numbers. So for this first one, it's 3 times 3, which is 9. Here we've got 3 times 4, which is 12. And then 3 times 3 again here to make 9. For this one, we've got 3 times 9, which is 27. 9 times 4 is 36. And then we've got another 9 times 3 here, which makes 27. Now, you can take all of these six numbers, line them up and make one big sum. But I find that people can make mistakes if the sums are too long. So what I advocate is that if you do it the way I've done it, you can see it's all nicely laid out so that we can add up in these columns. So if we add this together, <coughs> we're going to get... 7 there and 11. And we've got 0, 6, 5, 1. And then here, we've got 0, 0, 7. And then the 11. And then to finish the adding up, we're going to bring these two numbers across underneath here. Make sure you line it up properly. If you have trouble with lining up your numbers, then you can always start by writing the, the number backwards, so to speak, to make sure it is in the right place. So now if we add these up, we've got 7, 7, 6 and 7 makes 13, 1, 2, 3 and a 1 there. OK, so let's do that again. <coughs> So we start with forming up the grid. So we're going to have 200, 40, and 6. By putting this extra line here, it makes it easier to get these numbers lined up at the end. So over here this time, we're going to need 600. 50, and 9, like so. So again, I'm going to put all the zeros in first and then tackle the, the numbers. So here we're going to have four zeros. Here we're going to have one, two, three zeros. And here we're going to have just two zeros. This one here, we're going to have one, two, three zeros. 
here we're going to have two and here we're just going to have one and here we're going to have two zeros you can see there's a bit of a pattern to this isn't there and here we're just going to have one and none in this one so now let's go back and do the times tables so we've got two sixes which is 12 four sixes which is 24 six sixes which is 36 five twos are 10 four fives are 20 five sixes are 30 nine twos are 18 four nines are 36 six nines are 54 so now we're going to add down these columns again so we've got four five nine three zero six three six two zero zero eight one three one so by doing the zeros first like this it means that these sums are automatically lined up nicely so let's bring the other numbers across so as i said if you tr you have trouble with lining them up then just take this number and write it backwards so we do zero six three six two uh, same here four five nine three uh, let's add those so we've got four eleven ten eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one one and six is seven and three is ten plus the two here makes twelve three and two is five plus the one makes six and a one there so we'll do one more Okay, so similar size to last time. So again, start the grid here. So we've got 300, 50, and 9. And here we're going to have 600, 30, and four so putting in those zeros again so four here three for here and two here three here two here and just that one there and then these two come down here and then just the one from there and no zeros in this box okay so three sixes are 18 five sixes are 30 sorry didn't leave quite enough space there did I nine sixes are 54 three threes are nine three fives are 15 three nines are 27 four threes 12 four fives are 20 and four nines are 36 so we add up down here again so we've got six ten seven and a five zero zero seven one and a three zero zero two ten and nine and one so now bring the numbers across so we've got zero zero seven one 
three, six, zero, seven, and five. Add those up, so we've got six and zero. Seven and seven is 14, and two is 16. Six, seven, nine and three is 12, and two to finish.